As we know, the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, has made mention of it quite clearly where he says, Fasting has been prescribed upon you just as it was upon those before you, so that you may achieve taqwa. And taqwa would mean the consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers and sisters, also what we've learned from the mouth of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his blessed lips. من صام رمضان إيمانا واحتسابا غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبه ومن قام رمضان إيمانا واحتسابا غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبه Whoever has fasted correctly in the month of Ramadan with belief and conviction expecting a reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he or she will achieve forgiveness for everything they've done in the past they will come out of the month of Ramadan pure and clean without any sin. May Allah make us from amongst those. And the hadith says, whosoever stands at night in salah correctly throughout the month of Ramadan, for them will be a similar reward on condition that it is done with conviction, no laziness. And it is done expecting a reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember, when we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are not doing him a favor. Instead, he has done us a favor, subhanallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us from His mercy. So once we have achieved this forgiveness, and once we have achieved the levels of piety better than they were prior to Ramadan, what should we do post Ramadan? What should we do after Ramadan? One of the signs, my brothers and sisters, of an accepted season of fasting and standing in Salah, one of the signs of an accepted Ramadan is that our life changes even if it were to mean or even if it was to mean just by a few inches but the life has changed if my life changes after Ramadan it means my Ramadan was correct if my life becomes better after Ramadan it means my Ramadan was correct but if my life goes back to where it was before Ramadan then I wasted my Ramadan <laughs>